Welcome, friends, to Daily Moments of Inspiration. I would like to speak to you today, today concerning the birth, the birth of the man-child. Oh, how excited I am. I was thinking about, over about the birth of Moses over in the book of Exodus. And the Bible says that there was a man in the house of Levi, and he took to wife a daughter of Levi, and the woman conceived, and she bare a son. And when she saw that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. Why did she have to hide him? The reason that she had to hide him is because Pharaoh had issued a decree that all the baby, all the men children that were born of the Hebrew women were to be put to death. And that was the decree. And then the Bible says that, uh, that his mother... Loving the child and seeing that he was a beautiful, goodly child, she hid him for three months. And then she took and she put him in an ark of bulrushes that she had made. And she put it in the brink of the river. And the Bible says that Pharaoh's daughter came down to wash herself by the river. And when she came down, she saw the ark floating among the reeds by the river. And she sent her maids to fetch it. And when she saw the, what was in the ark, which was the little child Moses, she had compassion on the little child and said, this is one of the Hebrew children. And so the scripture says that she took the little baby when it was weaned, took the little baby into her own home, which was the palace, right up to the palace, and it became as her child, and she called him Moses. Now, we think about this, and we think about how that the boy Moses, how the baby Moses was a perfect type of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because remember, he came to bring deliverance to the Hebrew children, to the children of Israel. He came to bring deliverance and to bring them out of slavery and out of bondage in the land of Egypt. And then we think about our Lord Jesus Christ. And this very same thing happened because the Bible says that when Jesus was born, it says she was found with child. Mary's mother was found with child of the Holy Ghost. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph, and he said, Thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And the Bible says he knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. But then at a certain time, these wise men from the east, they had come to worship the child because they said they had seen his star in the east and they knew that he that was to be born the king of the Jews had been born, for they saw his star in the east and were come to worship him. And when they came to Jerusalem, they went first to Herod the king, asking him where was he born It was to be king of the Jews. And the Bible says that Herod, being an evil man and a, a very jealous man, he said this, he said that uh, he, he told them to go and search diligently to find where the child was, that he might come and worship him, but his plan was to kill the baby Jesus, just like Pharaoh was out to kill it, but really it was Satan. Satan was out to destroy Moses, and Satan was out to destroy Jesus. But the Bible says that they were warned of God in a dream when they had found the child Jesus not to return unto Herod, and they went another way. And then the Bible says that the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream that night. And he said, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And then it says that Herod, when he saw that he was mocked to the wise men, was exceeding wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had inquired diligently of the wise men. And so we see a perfect parallel because as Moses was sent to deliver the children of Israel from the land of bondage, from the land of Egypt, so we see that Jesus was sent to deliver God's children. Oh my, how beautiful this is out of the land of bondage. And then as we think about these things, we think about our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, 
Remember, Satan was out to destroy Jesus. He was out to destroy him. And the Bible speaks about how that at the time that Jesus was delivered, delivered up by Judas, who had betrayed him, and they sought to kill him and put him to death. And just as he was hanging there on the cross, trying to put him to death, Satan was out to destroy him, to keep him from destroying him and his kingdom. And so we see that when Jesus was hanging there upon the cross, though Satan was out to destroy him, the Bible says that Jesus cried out with a loud voice, and he, and he cried out, and the Bible says he, he rendered up his spirit unto God. He rendered up his spirit, and at that moment, his spirit departed from the body before Satan was able to kill him before Herod was able to kill him, before they were able to kill him as to a crucifixion, because they were surprised, even Pilate was surprised, that he were dead already. But it was because Jesus rendered up his life of his own will, of his own accord, and in his own time. And when he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit, then his spirit departed from the body, the body laid there in sleep. And so that was it before Satan could kill him. And they were surprised that Jesus were dead already as to their understanding. But three days later, he arose from the dead. You know, as I think about these things, I think about how that Satan wants to keep you from becoming a Christian. He does not want you to be born into the kingdom of God. But friends, when we call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and like the Ethiopian said, I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and we believe with all of our heart, then we are born again, born into the kingdom of God, and the Spirit of God comes in. And the Bible says this, the Bible says, as, as Peter said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And so we find that on that wonderful day of Pentecost, we find out that a church was born, a man-child was gone born, a man child was born into the world, which was the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Identified with him by baptism, identified with him in his death, in his burial, and in his resurrection. And that's the reason why Peter said to baptize him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, identifying himself as the bodily manifestation of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You know, and as we think about these things, we think about what John said when he received the revelation of Jesus Christ on the Isle of Patmos in chapter 12. It says, There appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon was under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman. We know that dragon is Satan. He stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, which was the church. It says, for to devour her child as soon as it was born born. His desire is to destroy the child as soon as it was born. But she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And so we see how beautiful a type we have here. The church being born, Moses coming into the world, Satan trying to destroy him, and then Jesus coming into the world, Satan trying to destroy him, Jesus ascending up to the throne, Satan trying to destroy him, but he was delivered up and rose again three days. Praise God. And then Satan now to keep you from becoming a Christian, to destroy you. But friends, the Bible says that when we believe, the instant we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then we are born into the kingdom of God for the Spirit of God comes in. When the Spirit of God enters into our heart, then it is an instantaneous change on the inside and our spirit is immediately caught up to the throne of God because Jesus said that the kingdom of God cometh not with observation because the kingdom of God is within speaking about the inner kingdom on the inside. And then one more thing I would say, because all the world, the Bible says a whole creation groaneth and travaileth, waiting for something to happen. One thing more is about to happen, and that's the manifestation of the sons of God. 
Oh, praise God. It's the time, we are nearing the time for the manifestation of the change of God, of the sons of God, which is the change of the body, which is the transfiguration, which is the redemption of the body, which is the change in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, when like Enoch, we can say that all of a sudden we walk with God and all of a sudden we are not for God takes us. Hallelujah. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Something is quickly about to happen to transpire. Believe in God's Word. Receive the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. For all the promises of God are yours. May God bless you is our prayer.